Good evening. Uh, good evening. I'm with Luke from Hostetter awesome. and Andy Breitner. And we're going to be talking tonight about John. So, Sleta. He's the captain. All that. All that good stuff. He's the captain. It's true. For the Messiah. Mammoth yeah, Valley. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so, I've heard of them. So, what, what animal is John for you? A flying zebra giraffe. Mixed together. Andy, what about you? What? John's a... He's a cheetah. Yeah, he's fast. Yeah, he's fast. Kind of slim. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, he's a go-getter. But yeah. he, he can also, like, jump high. Like, he can fly, like, almost. I would say... Like a cheetah. Dude, he's skies, guys. I would say he's a dove. I think he's <laughs> a dove. <laughs> because, I mean... I'm sticking with cheetah. And here's the thing. That's a good answer. That's the best answer is dove. And, uh, <laughs> and I'll just break that down real quick. I mean, doves are attractive. They are. But they are, I mean, that doesn't take away from them, their mobility and functionality. Um, as far elegant, as the elegant. noise, jo John's voice is also, could be, if you're far away and you can't distinguish the words he's saying, you might think it's a bird. We've all had those thoughts, haven't we? Yeah. Yes. I mean, Daily. Very, very bird-like voice. Yep. Uh, John, one-liner. John always says, whenever I pass in the hallway, he's just like, what's up? Boom! Just lay out. So good. That alligator had nice skin. This next question is going to be kind of a panel discussion here. All right. Realistically. So Sleta, we, we know what, what kind of world we live in. So suppose he's locked up in the basement. You know, some guy who really has some deep issues, has him locked up. He hasn't eaten in a couple of days. Do you think? Do you think Sled is the type of guy that would be able to have the mental toughness to escape? Absolutely. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think if one guy on our team would, it would be him. I mean, I feel like he'd just lay out through the wall until he mm -hmm. got through. Yeah. Keep keep doing that. <laughs> he'd chip away bit by bit. Yeah. Hopefully it's wood, not I mean, not concrete naturally. I mean, even if it was concrete. Yeah. Even if it was no, concrete. Yeah. yeah. And he's an engineer, so he does yeah, have some pretty good just, like, problem solving over. abilities. And he also has this like limitless energy. One yeah. He's just like always yeah. just full of energy. So I just know that he would never give up. Like he would just bounce he's, around on all the walls. And he's a never back down kind of out. guy. Like he wouldn't stop mm. until he like figures out a way to get out. Like, no, exactly. He's the closest thing to an immovable object. I mean, an, an unstoppable force. Yeah. And it would take an immovable against... object to stop him. Yeah. I said yeah, but I didn't quite know what Ethan was talking about. <laughs> I think we all did. Yeah. Trying to call Batman. Okay. Well, I'm glad we, we were able to come to some sort of consensus there. How long have you been playing Frisbee? I don't know, like three and a half years? Yeah. Yeah. What, uh, when did you really start to get good? <laughs> oh, not for a while. Like, last year, junior year, fall junior year. Oh, okay. Yeah, sophomore year, I kind of just, like, was a good cutter that just kicked it out every time. Oh, okay. But you actually, you, you know, you grew in your throws. We gotta shake hands. Oh, we gotta shake hands. Let's go shake, bro. Yeah. Are we gonna video the shake? No. I gotta shake a little. Hey, good game. Good game, man. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game.